hello everyone in this problem we are given a matrix of size n by n and we have to make k rotations for each element such that the elements on the even rows will shift left and the elements on the odd rows will shift right and after these k rotations we'll have to check if the resultant matrix is the same as the original one the very obvious solution that first comes to mind is that for each element in the matrix we'll rotate it k times and since we'll be modifying our matrix in that case we'll keep a copy of the original matrix and then compare with it the time complexity in this case would be the dimensions of the matrix multiplied by the k operations because for each rotation we'll have to traverse the matrix and since we'll have to copy the original matrix the space complexity would be o of m into n there is a much more intuitive and simpler solution that can be applied in many problems where we'll have to rotate the array let's look at it Let's take a look at any two elements in a row where they are at a distance of k columns. Depending on the index of the row, we may have to shift the elements right or to the left. But you can notice that in either of these two scenarios, if these two elements are not equal, then either the right or the left rotation can never be equal. Hence for each element in the matrix, we can just consider the element k spaces to the right of it and then make a comparison. and if all of them are equal it means that the resultant matrix will be equal to the original one this will be even valid for the corner rows on the right we can find its pair element by using the modulo operator with the number of columns in the matrix the time complexity in this case will only be the dimensions of the matrix because we only have to go through the elements once and since we don't need to maintain an original copy the space complexity would be constant let's implement our solution let's keep a variable for the number of columns in the matrix this will be used in the modulo operator since the rotations have to be made in the row we'll go through each row in the matrix and for each column in that row we'll compare it with the kth element on the right for handling the rotation we'll add k and then modulo it by the number of columns and if they are not equal then we can immediately return false and once we have gone through all the elements and made the comparisons and we did not find any anomaly then we can return true we are now done with our solution if this video was helpful please leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and see you soon